Many of us suspected that Battlefield 5 would stick to a collectivized faction system under the veil of the Allies and Axis forces, as the different national factions would exist in tandem, such as British, American, and Soviet soldiers fighting as part of one team on one map, or German and Japanese being present on the Pacific setting as yet again part of the same team. Today, we can rejoice, boys. As we now know, that subsequent national factions will be independent, and the Axis and Allies pool is going away. The Axis and Allies factions will be divided into sub-factions based on nations. These are the United Kingdom faction, the United States Pacific faction, Germany, and Japan, as confirmed so far. Keep in mind that the current faction names mentioned in reference to these factions are work in progress and internal designations, not finished names that will necessarily make their way into the full game. With this, we can assume that cosmetic items will be faction restricted, given that the current allied faction is in fact the UK faction. There exist zero actual British uniforms. In fact, over 60% of the gear found in it is American. The US M1942 Airborne Jacket being the most commonly found American equipment asset in the faction. In reality, the only standard issue British uniform is behind a paywall, available as restricted gear done by Seamus. Oh, where me taters at, boy -o. And unavailable for use without being donned collectively along with the character. And obviously, without paying the price for the base elite set itself. Now, most interesting is the suffix specific in the US specific faction possibly referring to the fact that the United States Marine Corps will exist separate to the U.S. Army, which might be a faction featured in the European campaign. How U.S. gear is going to be handled, given that it exists as ever-present in the current UK-based allies faction, is going to be interesting to see. There's a good possibility we'll see an item shift in division of the specific upcoming factions, which would do the game a favor, given how ridiculous it looks to have British soldiers equipped with no fucking British uniforms bit, but instead US airborne and fly jackets and enlisted men's shirts, with nothing but a great coat belonging to the national equipment pool to the British Army. Storms all that. Might also be a time we actually see a German style helm in this game. Instead of using the Hungarian one. As there's no actual standard German helmets in Battlefield 5 besides a Fallschirmjäger M1915 Paratrooper Stahlhelm, which is a major oversight in a World War II game in which one of the two factions is Germany. Deutschland. <laughs> now, Sturmsoldaten der Deutschen Wehrmacht, it's time to join Drakesden's Discord. If you don't join, I will invade your country. Head boy, we might come to your country. There is no butthole that will be left unscathed. Deutschland, Soldaten aus dem Reich. Subscribe to Drake, Drake's dead.